Hi traders, welcome everyone. Good to see you all here. Market is open, the S&P is down 0.25%, which One means a small gap down. Here. Nasdaq is down 0.3%. It was an inter inter interesting day yesterday when uh, we started with a very big gap up and then came down quite a bit and then moved up at the end of the day and finished in green. Quite a volatile day and today we start in red. Welcome our viewers in YouTube. If you are in YouTube watching us right now, please give us a like, help our channel. We will appreciate that. Thank you. Google is strong today. It's up 3%. Baba is strong up 2.8%. We've got Disney down almost 7%. Not yet with a nice technical formation, which I would like to be involved in moving to one minute candles at the beginning of the trading session here. Shop is down. As I am short S O N O already this morning. S O N O. I'm going to go long Missed Google over 115.50. Target S O N O is going to be 50 cents, 16.50 this morning. Posted Google for long over 115.50. Okay, so I'm not going to take early trades like Mary and Scott. I'll wait for the market to show me something before I'll jump into a new trade. Yesterday yeah, it is was a bit a early right amazing now. day for me. So. Yeah, Initial market Day direction is down. RBLX is strong. Want to go long over the highs 4063, actually over 4060. RBLX for me. Oh, I missed it. I was writing it in the room. I missed it. Hey, traders, 20 cents to go now on SONO. Target 1650. Looking for 50 cents in this first half. Guys, RBLX was 25, 30 cents stop loss. You have reached your target if you took that trade. I have missed it. 10 cents to go. A lot of stocks are coming down right now with the market. The S&P is pushing lower. We're down 0 0.44. Roblox extremely strong. Going AMD as well. But I'm waiting for a pullback before I'm shorting it. Unity 31. Uh, I think I will go long Unity before 31 yeah I'll post it first trade of the day unity you seven cents to go now on Sonos S-O-N-O -O. here I'm about to go long unity eight cents to go S-O-N-O -O. I'm long The S&P is a bit extended to the downside. We should be looking for a pullback real soon. My new entry to Google is going to be over 115.30, very close, which is now. I'm long Google. Stop under the lows, less than a point. Okay, I believe just this could here. be Should take some off the table here. I think on S O N O could be a good entry point because the market is too extended to the downside, and we should see some kind of a pullback. I can already see a very very small green candle at the lows. It's a bit of a bet hoping from for the market to move up from here.
and if it does then Google should do well we could add over 115.50 okay traders I'm going to go Tesla long 168 TSLA got in trouble yesterday doing the same thing so hopefully today we'll pay off 168 if we get it taking my first target in unity before I knew it, about to attend it, well, I took it stocks attract round numbers still holding the sell button didn't take anything yet okay sold 3120 beautiful 70 cents 9 cents to go cents so and I will add nice to Google job, over 115.50. Hey, good job. Oh, Roblox. Added. Hey, Mayor, did you, did you take Roblox? You talked about it. I posted it in the room. While I was posting it, Yogi, it took off and I missed huh? it. <laughs> okay. That's why it's working so good. Okay. I'm following AMD. The low is 97.53, which means that AMD is about to break the lows. Now we are testing the VWAP. I will short AMD 98.30. I don't know if Linda is here, but 98.30. Oi! Oi! Google is approaching the highs. Hope I'm going to see a new high. I'll short it right now. Okay, I'm shorting AMD hey, right traders, here. I'm going to, uh, here comes a new high. Three Google. cents to go now. We've just been patient with this trade. I'm shorting a mud. On the SONO trade. <laughs> We're going to get more than what we thought here. There we go. 34 cents now, 32, 16, 32. I am buying the cover right there. First partial, three quarters of the trade out, SONO. That is a nice, nice trade here now, taking about 70 cents almost from the first three quarters of the about trade. About to take a partial in Google. We are in business, in business and green this morning. All good. About to take a partial in Google. Tesla, no trade. More than a point. Still going, watching the buyers and the sellers. Still going. The S&P is helping. Watch the S&P. It's moving up from the lows as expected. Now oh. took my partial in Google. Oh. AMD. AMD. <laughs> Google yeah, works cash out so nicely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use this pullback here in oh, Google oh. to add some more size. Added some very small size in Google whenever you add size to a winning trade you always add a size that you don't think that can change the outcome I mean just a bit is okay but you do not take a size that could move you back down to red territory so just added small size to Google hoping that it's going to continue higher it's a pullback and the market is moving up, the S&P is moving up from the lows. Always remember the first 10 minutes are very, very volatile. It's very hard to determine market direction. And the fact that the market started by moving down, a big red candle means practically nothing. Well, it means something, but it's, it's, not, it's not to be understood or not to be you know, trusted as the direction of the market today. So... Now we've got two green candles. The question is, of course, what's going to happen next? I'm about to cover an ammo. This candle, the next candles, we could come down under the lows. We could move over the highs. Everything is open. The only thing that I felt was reasonably logical is a pullback from the lows once we move down very strongly. This pullback was enough for Google to move to a new high. Okay, Tesla's still looking good. Small pullback here. Anything under 16, I will get rid of the rest of the S-O-N-O -O trade. Sonos. I'm getting ready to reduce some still more size unity. after the pullback. Still holding AMD. 
After two partials, אוי רובלוקס, אני מסתכל. Here comes a new high in Google. More size will be sold soon. יאללה לינדה, סיים עיר. Market still moving up. I like unity here, you. It pulls back. Now, sort some more. Off the bottom recovery. Okay, now we have to remember that the market so is weak. The, the S&P is down 0.35%. NASDAQ is at zero, so we kind of closed the gap. Actually, there was no gap in the NASDAQ, but NASDAQ just turned slightly green and the S&P is red. The S&P is the important indice. NASDAQ is less important. NASDAQ helps us understand the direction of the S&P sometimes. It could help us predict what the S&P may or may not do. But the S&P is what counts because institutional, institutional traders are following the S&P. They will buy when they, have red can, when they have green candles, they will sell at red candles. So not surprised to see some buying going around right now during the last two candles, but You need to watch the S&P at all times. If the S&P will continue to move up, stocks will move up. Most of them, 60% of the movement of the stocks that you're trading is based on the S&P. So far, the S&P is moving up, but we have to remember that it is in red territory, 0.36, which means everything's still open. We could come down, we could move up. Just don't trust the market direction, which is currently last two candles up. Guys, Unity, what an amazing trade in Unity. And again, traders, if you're watching this video on YouTube, please give us a like and join our channel right here. There's a button. Click on that button to join our channel. It is a free trading room channel. And you're very welcome to join us each and every day. We trade here live on YouTube each and every day. And you're very welcome to join. This is, I believe, the best way to learn trading. You can see everything I do, all the stocks I buy, everything I think about. And you can get and understand the mindset of a professional trader by watching this channel. So I appreciate the fact that you're watching us. Thank you very much. And let's keep on trading. Google new high. I'm watching Intel. It's very, very weak. And the daily is definitely showing us some downtrend. And I'm getting prepared for the market just in case it will decide to move lower. Also watching Disney. I wish I could have traded this one earlier, but I did not. Wouldn't mind shorting it under this green candle over here. The low of this candle is 92.79, could be shorting under 92.80. I'm posting it in the room right now for a short Disney under 92.80. maybe 85 still thinking about it Nvidia is very weak it's trending lower very very clearly quite an interesting move in Nvidia 
I'm watching plenty of stocks here moving up or down the weakest the strongest Amazon is green today 0.3% but I do like the breakdown formation in Amazon I think I'll stay away because it's green okay a red candle in the S&P traders which is likely to push us down now shop is down one and a half percent okay about to show Disney I will short it under 85, 92.85. Now I'm short Disney. This red candle is taking us very, very close to the lows. And at this point, it's more likely that we will move down and we will see a new low. The low in Disney is 92.53 and Disney is down 8% today. Guys, AMD. It already did behave as a gap and go. When the stock is gapping down more than 3%, you would expect it to gap, gap down and go, go down. Just that the technical formation here was possibly enabling me, enabling me to, make a sh to take a short in the first second minute. I didn't want to do that. It was too early. Okay, S&P is under the lows. We do have an established trend right now. We're definitely coming down. Now, Disney just touched the lows, 92.53. I need a breakdown under the lows for a partial. Here comes the lows again. Buyers at 53. You would expect some support. Just moved under two cents. 92.50 is a semi-hole number. We broke that too. That's great. Getting ready for a partial in Disney. Did not take much size because I wasn't sure about the market direction, but we're moving nicely. Getting ready for a partial. I don't want to see it over 40. Over 90 to 40, I'll take my partial. Took my partial in Disney. It's not a big winner, but it's nice. Green is good. Traders, I am out all shares of SONO, -O, and I'm only in Tesla right now, TSLA. Watching this market hit brand new lows on the S&P, SPY. Okay, so the S&P touched a new low. We do have an established trend. We are coming down. It's interesting to see how relatively strong stocks like Google keep moving higher. A very small pullback from the lows, a green candle helped Google right now to move to a new high, which is amazing. Again, as I mentioned earlier, stocks normally move with the S&P. So a green candle is a buying opportunity for institutional traders. And when you have a stock that is up almost 5% as Google, they are the first to be bought. I'm about to sell a little bit more Google here. I just think it's going to hit a new high very soon. So I'm waiting just a bit more. Come on, Google, new high, please. Disney is holding to the lows. Okay, the S&P is back to the lows. We have a downtrend. We definitely have a downtrend. We just uh, gave up. I mean, the last green candle turned red definitely have a downtrend i should be looking for more stocks which i could short 
stocks which will follow the S&P as it continues to move down. Surprise Tesla hasn't crumbled yet, but uh, it's hanging in there just fine. And I've got full shares size into the trade. Microsoft could be one of them. Again, watching it on my small chart. Nice, a very nice technical formation in Microsoft. Okay, new high in Google. Perfect. Okay, I will add to AMD under 98 for a full share size. Microsoft could be shorted under 307. The stock is down 1.6%. I will short it under 307. MSFT. Posting it in the room right now. Guys, I'm selling some more Google here. Sold some more Google. Getting ready to short Microsoft under 307. The market is weak and likely to continue the downtrend. I should take a look at the daily of Microsoft. Wow, it's relatively strong. It's very, very strong, actually. Well, it is just a pullback day from several days of moving higher. It's normally not the best formation for a short. You don't want to short a stock on a pullback day unless it's very, very extended. And Microsoft is not very extended. Which means I am going to lower my size. I still like the intraday technical formation. But from watching the daily chart, I just decided I'm going to lower my size. Disney is looking for a new law. Hope we're going to see that soon. So in order for me to short Microsoft, I want to see it under 307. And I want to have some kind of confirmation in the S&P right now we're holding near the lows there's no reason for me to believe that the s p will not continue the downtrend the trend is normally our best friend and this should be continued the s p is down 0.6 percent and again you have to remember that when the s p is down although we were moving up earlier it's more likely that we will see a downtrend Okay, Disney new low, and I am getting ready to cover some more size in Disney at a new low. And now we have a small green candle in the S&P. Microsoft immediately, immediately moved up with the green candle. See, that's, that's what I'm worried about. Okay, covering some more size in Disney now, again, because there's a green candle in the S&P. Look at the way plenty of stocks reacted to that move. Amazon just moved over the highs. Microsoft moved up a little bit. But again, if the market's going to continue coming down, then Microsoft will come down. It's kind of nice now to see that it moved up a little bit when the S&P had a green candle. Now, looking back at the S&P, you can see that the green candle is gone. So again, watching the S&P, trying to figure out where it goes. If I'm going to get a confirmation that the S&P wants to continue lower and Microsoft will fail to move higher, just try to move higher. But if it's going to fail to move higher, then it's going to be a nice short. I could actually short it now under 307.15, something like that. It's always nice to see a stock that you want to trade in a certain direction. In this case, I want to trade Microsoft, to short Microsoft. It's always helpful to see a stock going the wrong way, failing, and then coming down. It 
gives me a better understanding of the direction that it's about to choose. And again, if I'm going to say confirmation from the S&P, and I do have a confirmation right now from the S&P because what was a green candle now just turned to a small dodgy, small red dodgy really. And if I'm going to see Microsoft failing to move higher and coming down, well, then I'm just going to add a little bit more size. So I was planning on shorting 1000 shares. I'm going to move up to 1400 shares just in case Microsoft now decides to come down. Because now I've got a small confirmation. I'll take a look at Marna. Good job, Disney. Yeah, Marna's it's coming Still in the Tesla strong. trade here, still watching it here. This is the daily of Marna. AMD. I'm about to add. Wow. You're right. What a breakdown in Marna on the daily chart. This should be a big, big mover. I'm a little bit concerned with Marna, not, not a little bit, more than a little bit because of the volume it recently doesn't have much volume look at the volume right now we are 30 minutes into the trading session and the volume is just 317,000 shares and of course the outcome is the spread you can see that the spread is anywhere between 10 to 20 cents which is a lot okay let's concentrate on microsoft here i do agree that it is likely that mana will continue to come down i just don't have the guts Okay, let's watch Microsoft, the S&P is at the lows. I want to short Microsoft and I will short it under 15 now. I'm short Microsoft under 307.15. Now I'm assuming that it will come down under 307. There's a certain point where you want to take a trade. I mean, initially I wanted to take it under 307. But there's a certain point where you think that the stock is at what I would call the point of no return. So if it moved down under 307.15, I think it's likely to break down under 307. I took a risk, of course, because obviously we have some kind of support at the whole number 307. And of course, I was hoping that this green red candle will turn very red, which did not happen. And I do have a losing trade right now which will be terminated over 308. So again, when you plan trade, you should normally look for what I would call the point of no return and should enter at that point, either long or short, and that, that is normally before it breaks down or normally before it breaks up if you go long. LI is moving up nicely. Still holding AMD, actually with a small loss of uh, $400 because I added at $97.70, but uh, not a big share size. So I'm still holding it. So it seems like yeah, I was wrong about Microsoft downside momentum during this red candle over here. It does not mean that it's not going to continue the trend because again, the trend is our best friend, but I was wrong assuming that it's going to break down under 307. That makes it a little bit more tricky right now. I'm happy I don't have full size and relatively low size lower than my size in Disney and lower than my size in Google. Oh, look at Marna, you were absolutely right. Look at Marna goes. I wish I would have found it at around 1.30 today. I mean, even though the volume is relatively low in Marna, can't ignore the daily. The daily is just absolutely amazing. When you have a daily like that, you should expect a big, big breakdown. So if you're kind of a swing trader and you want to short mana and hold it, not a bad idea. But day trading at that point, it was a bit extended to the downside. 
Traders, uh, Tesla starting to come alive now. Again, looking for that 169 plus. You're still long Tesla, Scott? Still long Tesla, Mayor. Still holding on to it. Okay. Three, the only thing I have right now. Three red candles at the lows of the S&P. That looks yeah, to me like a, moving sideways. like a potential bear flag here. And here we go, touching the lows. More than a bear flag. If we're going to touch the lows and actually move under the lows, then I assume Microsoft will do what I was expecting it to do. And break under 307. Microsoft, as you can see, is holding mm -hmm. here. I don't like it. I mean, I was, I don't take a trade at the point where I don't think it's going to move in a big way at the point where I take it. And I'm, I, I was definitely wrong about, about Microsoft. Now, if you remember, Disney it made a big move when I took it. Google made a big move when I took it. I do not take a trade at the point where I assume it's going to go sideways. And the only thing I'm hoping is going to happen now is that Microsoft will continue its own downtrend and it is downtrending and of course helped by the market. So I, I should be protected by two things here. Uh, one, the market is trending lower, looking bad. S&P is down 0.65%. It's at the lows, actually just touched a new low, but did not really break down. And the second thing is Microsoft's own downtrend. And the fact that Microsoft is down 1.6%, which means it's weaker than the market. So although the market is moving down, Microsoft could move more than the market. Hasn't been proven correct yet. Tesla. And we came into this trade early at 168. We've added at 168.55. Now we're looking for 169 to come out of this trade. Again, a green candle in Microsoft due to a very small green candle in the S&P. If the market is going to change direction and move higher from here, Microsoft will follow the market and I will be in trouble with this specific trade in Microsoft. Okay, the S&P has not yet decided what was a green candle is now becoming a small dodgy. Google used this green candle to move to a new high, which is amazing. A very small green candle and Google just moved to a new high. On the other hand, Disney is definitely downtrending. If you want to understand the way that um, gaps and go work, you should take a look at Disney. A big gap down, started I believe 7% or so down, initial very small move up, failure to move up and a breakdown under the lows. Sometimes I would consider taking a short under the lows, but in this case, second one minute candle, it's too early. It's not that I don't do it ever once in a while, I do, but I thought it was too early. I would normally look for a third candle breakdown. Disney broke down on the second candle and then continued. So that was again the gap and the go. And it's still going, looking great. Works the same way with stocks that are moving up a gap and a go. Which happened today in RBLX. Now you remember I wanted to trade RBLX today. Look at RBLX. I posted it for a long in the trading room. Let me see where that was in the trading room. RBLX. 
now we like over 40 60 I posted it in the trading room as I do post all of my other trades and if you take a look at RBLX 4060 was here the high if I remember correctly was 4063 yes it was 4063 so again a stock that was gapping up right now RBLX is up 5% so again you want to see it more than 3% gap up for a gap and go so RBLX gapped up try to move lower you see this first candle and then it moved over the highs and the second candle took it under the lows so that was a perfect technical formation because the, only the fourth candle was over the highs so I posted it in the room because I thought it's relatively I mean the risk would not be that much posted it in 4060 but as I was posting it it's just ran up to 40 80 or something like that I didn't want to chase it up I don't want to chase stocks up it's not the right thing to do so either you buy it where you plan to or you just don't so RBLX was also a gap and go in this case long you wait for a failure to move down the stock is over three percent gapping up more than three percent you would expect it to have buyers well that's the the way the system works maybe I'll I'll, I'll get to this explanation some other time why does it work like that I mean why do people want to buy it when it gaps up and then moves over the highs or why do people want to short a stock like Disney when it gaps down and then continues like a gap and go let's go over this sometime but anyway the S&P is holding at the lows doing nothing and Microsoft sadly is doing something I'm going to stop it over the whole number which is 308 this could be my first loser today the reason it's going to be stopped over 308 is mainly because it's a whole number there's also a nice technical formation here I mean it's a kind of a resistance but it's also a whole number you would expect to have some sellers at the whole number sometimes you do sometimes you don't here comes the whole number you do see more sellers not much really not much 12 cents to go traders on the 12 cents to go on the Tesla trade I was hoping to see more well now I saw a little bit more sellers yeah you can see just a bit more just a bit more watch the sellers at the whole number not much but if it's going to start trading one two cents over the whole number I'll be out it's interesting to see how the whole number kind of stopped it just a little bit but we are at a some sort of a, an intraday breakout point it's a nice technical formation there and I don't want to be there when it happens the market is holding down so it's kind of weird to see that Microsoft for some strange reason moved up could be just noise now I like this 20 cent pullback it just pulled back down a bit 20 cents so if it's just going sideways it may come down from here especially if the market is going to help the market still holding down but if it's going to move over 308 again here I mean more than one two cents then I'll be out here it goes back to 308 that's not good it goes back up to 308 it's likely to move over I was hoping to see a pullback here you can see the sellers are still coming at the whole number even if it moves up one or two cents oh I'm out now that's a big move that's a definite big move okay, there's great news on the Tesla trade we got exactly what we're looking for here coming out of the trade now on Tesla 169.15 after coming into the trade at 168 and then adding to full share size we are really green this morning just two trades into it unlike yesterday I had five trades already at this stage of the game so uh, happy to be where I'm at this morning with just the two trades traders if you are following us Keep today in our trading room and in YouTube I hope you're doing good good enough to give us a like so hit that like button for us 
and I wonder how much you're doing how much are you doing right now you guys in YouTube or in our trading room how much you're making or how much you're losing I mean you could be gaining some money or you could be losing one I'll share my results right over here as you can see I've got one loser in Microsoft Disney is a winner a small winner Google is my best trade today still moving to a new high and I'm up $3,700 today, still open in Google and in Disney. So closer actually almost four grand today, 44 minutes into the trading session. That's a good start. And I can see here that Onwell is down $82. Hushank is down $326. Alessandro is up $1,700. $600 Daniel made today. Alfred is up $390. Yam is up $170. Yogi 5K. Good job. DVG, you're rocking. Over four grand today. You're better than I am, which is no surprise. $600. Rain out. Good job. Green, $275. Your first trade. Two risk units, Garrett. Okay, let's see the numbers in our YouTube channel too. Yoni is up $3,200. Good job, Yoni. Here are the numbers in our YouTube channel. That's great. These are great numbers. I really love watching that, guys. Very proud in you. Sandra just made $946. Michael up $100. Earl is down 2k, sorry for that. Mohammed up 122. Trading review is up $100. $17.50. Good job. 1k, Ed, if I got it right. Good job. Imad is up 564 Yarin is up 237 guys I would like to consider that we have some something to do in such a nice day I mean you're making money that much I would like to think that something I mean a part of it has to do with us helping you trade the right way Evil is up 250 on Baba. Down 400, Evil. Sorry for that. Doug is up 620. MY is up $2,800. WC is up 250. Nathan Harris is up 875. I see nice numbers here. Guys, I'm really proud of you. Uh, I'm going to post my bank account details uh, right here below. 10% of what you made today. And it's all registered you see we see each and every one of you here you know we've got the names we know who you are 10 percent is due to my own personal bank account uh, actually i think it's your turn today scott no it's your bank account today yeah absolutely i mean i think it's uh the last few days and, and yogi I'll, I'll yogi i'll give you a bottle of wine and i'll deliver it as soon as you deliver mayors to him so we'll take care of you no problem <laughs> <laughs> guys I'm done guys watch AMD watch AMD I'm about to cover I'm wow. done trading today wow what a have fun I'll see you all uh, well I wanted to say I'm going to see you tomorrow but it is uh, <laughs> what Thursday or Friday it's Thursday yeah of course I'll see you all tomorrow for some reason I had the feeling it's Friday today I don't know weekend no not yet I'll see you tomorrow Thank you very much for joining. Again, if you are on YouTube, please hit that like button for us. I was really just joking for the 10% because I just found out that it's uh, uh, it's Scott's turn. It's not mine. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been joking. Okay, traders, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching this YouTube video. There's plenty of links right here below if you want to join us. And don't forget, this channel, this specific channel is live each and every day. You can join us. It's totally free. We will not answer all of your questions on this channel. We do that in our live trading room. And there's a link right here below for a 14 day trial in our live trading room. And you're very welcome to join both. 
Thank you again for joining us. Hit the links below and uh, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel right over here. Also, don't forget that trading is extremely hard and most traders lose money. I'm a very experienced trader and my results are not regular. This is not easy as it may seem to be. Thank you very much for joining and watching. I'll see you in my next video.